Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for Porsche vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools have. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find them because there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So it's very important for you to use the links to be taken to the genuine and official products. And at the end of the video, I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy if it was my personal money on my personal Porsche. Given what I know about these tools and haven't had the opportunity to use them over the last few months and some of them over the last few years. And if by the end of the video, like you're still unsure about which of these tools to go for, um, then I'll pop the email address in the description below this video. Use that email address, send your vehicle information to us, we can check that for you, and we can double check to make sure which tool is gonna be suitable for you, your needs, and your specific circumstances, okay? Um, I'm also, at the end of the video, gonna show you a really high-end tool, which is, it goes over and above everything that we've got on the table here, so it's a, it's a proper high-end tool that mimics like the dealer and specialist garages, so we'll come to that further at the end of the video though, okay? Okay. So starting at this end of the table, this is the cheapest tool. This is the POR version 1.0 tool. Um, this is gonna be a, a good tool if you're looking to maybe diagnose one of the main systems. So something like the check engine light, the ABS, the traction, PSM warning light, the airbag light, or you've got a transmission fault, um, or maybe a, a system in the other, uh, sorry, a fault in the other systems like power steering, uh, maybe air suspension, central locking, HVAC systems, you know, those kind of systems. So it, it'll, it'll see you good, and it'll give you the, the diagnostic fault code, the unique code and the description of the fault. So it gives you a better understanding of what the problem is with your vehicle and how you can go about fixing it and getting the warning light and the, the system and the fault reset. The tool will allow you to do the resets as well, so you can turn off the warning light once the uh, the, the problem is fixed, okay? Um, we're gonna talk about special or service functions in this vi uh, this video as well, and you'll, un you'll start to understand what the service functions are as we go through the video, but when it comes to service functions, like they go over and above the standard diagnostics, so this tool has one built-in service function, and it is the ability to do the oil or the maintenance resets, okay? So that's the POR version 1.0 tool, uh, and that's been a really good seller for a number of years. In fact, every tool on this table has been a really good seller. That's why it's on the table, okay? Um, so that's the version 1.0. We then come to the POR version 2.0 tool. Uh, this tool can do everything that this tool can do, but it also has a few additional service functions, okay? So again, it's gonna do everything that this will do in terms of things like diagnosing and resetting the main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, PSM, things like that. But this will also do the oil service resets. The additional service functions are DPF regeneration on diesel vehicles. Uh, so you've got the likes of the Macan, the Cayenne, and the Panamera. Um, electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and ABS brake bleeding. It's very important though for me to point out that it will do those functions on certain vehicles, okay? So if you wanted to double check that, say the DPF regeneration function would work on your Cayenne, for example, then send us an email, I'll pop the email address in the description, send us an email with the VIN number of your vehicle and we can check for you to make sure that this, this tool would be suitable for your needs, okay? So that's the version 2.0 tool. It is a bit more expensive than this one, but it does have more features, all right? Um, we then come to the POR version 3.0 tool. This costs a little bit more than this, but the amount of additional coverage, service functionality, uh, vehicle coverage, and system coverage you get from this tool is a really, really high amount compared to the just a little bit extra that you pay. Um, this goes over and above all of these tools, so this will this tool will do everything that these tools will do. Um, it also does actuation tests, it does component testing, it's a bi-directional scan tool, so it can test certain components, motors, things, switches, things like that within the vehicle, okay? My display is falling apart. 
but it'll also do, so it'll do actuation tests, suspension calibrations, transmission adaptions, air condition resets, engine adaptions, and other adaptions as well, some of the smaller adaptions, you know, things like headlight uh, calibrations, adaptions, things like that. Um, so, but it is again important for me to say that if you want to make sure that those functions work on your vehicle, send us an email with your VIN number and we can check that for you, okay? So this tool really does pack an awful lot of software into one designated tool just for Porsche vehicles, all right? So that's the version 3.0 tool. We then come on to the CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit um, has been a good seller for a number of years now because it covers a wide range of manufacturers, okay? So let's say you've got a Porsche, but you've also got a BMW, an Audi, um, a VW, a Toyota, or a Honda, something like that, a Land Rover. And you wanna make sure you're getting a tool that covers all of the, the makes and models, then the CR Pro Kit could well be that kit. Um, it matches the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool, but it does obviously cover a huge range of vehicles as well. So it's been a good seller for a number of years now, um, and it's no wonder really because it, it really is a, a good tool as like a, a kind of an all-rounder if you like, okay? So that's the CR Pro Kit, and we then come to this tool here which looks a little bit different. This is a tablet-based kit. This is hands down the best tool on the table. It, does everything that all of these tools will do into one fast, intuitive tool. It's a tablet-based tool, so you can also be putting your apps on there, you can do emails, you can go online, it prints reports, it does all of your calibrations, your adaptions, it does all of the, it does the service functions um, to match that of the version 3.0 tool, but it does that for all makes and models, okay? So this is probably the best uh, sort of bang for buck, uh, value for money tool out there when it comes to multi manufacturers okay um, and I really can't stress how good this tool is as an all-rounder yes it does cost more than these tools it's not bank breakingly expensive but for the amount of money you pay versus the amount of software system manufacturer coverage and service functionality it's such a good value for money tool all right so I said earlier in the video that I would give you my recommendation for which of these tools I would buy if it was my personal Porsche with my personal money. Um, it's quite easy for me to know the answer given what I know about these tools and having had the opportunity to use all of these tools on a wide range of vehicles. So if I was looking for a tool just purely for my Porsche and I wasn't really interested in anything else, just want a tool for my Porsche, then it would undoubtedly be the POR version 3.0 tool purely because the amount of software uh, coverage and service functionality you get from this tool it really does pack a powerful punch. It's an all-in-one package for Porsche, um, and you get free lifetime updates. In fact, you get free lifetime updates with all of these tools, okay? Uh, some of the other manufacturers, like Autel and Launch and um, X-Tool, they will charge you like 100, 150 pounds per year. After the first year, well, these tools, you get free updates for life, okay? So if it's just a Porsche tool you're looking for, then definitely the ICOS of POR version 3.0. If you're looking for a tool, if you've got another you know, ma manufacturer, like a, as I say, you've got more than one model, you've got a, an Audi or BMW, Mercedes, uh, maybe you're an enthusiast and you've got a few cars or you're a family and you've got a few different manufacturers in your family, or even indeed you're a small garage or workshop, then um, I'd definitely be looking at the CR Max kit, okay? So those are the two tools I would highly recommend, POR version three or CR Max kit, depending on your specific needs, your circumstances and of course your budgets as well you know it's there's a lot there's, there's a lot of different variables there so um, please just you know take my advice but having said that if you've got something like an older say like a 996 or a 987 uh, and you just wanted to maybe knock off a check engine light or an airbag light and you're thinking about selling the vehicle then you know sometimes you, you need not look any further than the version 1.0 tool it's just as good for turning off a warning light as the rest of the tools but as we go further up the line you stand a better chance of being able to diagnose one of the future faults that may well occur over time and during the life of your vehicle all right 
So one of this one or this one. Um, I did also mention there was a, a really high-end tool that I wanted to show you. This is the iCars of the CR Ultra kit. It goes over and above everything that we see on the table here right now. It's a high-end dealer level tool, so it'll it'll do all the functions that the dealers and the the, um, the specialists can do in one sort of high-end tool. It's quite expensive. It's about one thousand five hundred pounds. Uh, but I did want to put that on here just in case there were any guys out there who were just looking for the absolute best tool and money is no object. I just wanted to show you that tool just in case. But for most enthusiasts, for most Porsche owners, what we see here on the table will be more than sufficient for your needs and your circumstances. If you're still unsure about which of these tools to go for, by all means, send us an email. I'll put the email address in the description below. Give us your vehicle information and we can check for you and we can give you advice on which of these tools would be best for you, your needs and your circumstances. And I will put links to all of these kits in the description below this video. I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching guys and I hope it helps.